So the other day I was driving my other truck, mm-hmm. the Dakota, and it doesn't have a, like it's just a plastic dash, right? Just like normal. Mm-hmm. Whereas in this truck it has like this carpet thing. Uh, but anyways, I'm driving it because this truck was in uh, indisposed, let's say, mm-hmm. and I was driving it to the dump. And do you ever think that you like discover something? Where you're like, you'll see something, you're like, dude, I'm the first person to see this species or this whatever. Uh, I don't think I've ever had that thought, no. Have you ever, have you ever thought you saw a UFO? Uh, maybe. Okay, I need you to, I need you to feel what I felt. Or have a feeling, the same feeling that I felt. Okay, have you ever thought you saw like Bigfoot in the woods or something? Or like a sea I thought, monster. I thought I saw something. I knew something tripped me out that I thought I saw in the woods for sure. Okay. Okay. So that feeling. Imagine that feeling. I think it's the same. Okay. So I'm driving down the road, minding my own business. And then I just see like on my dashboard, there's like this little thing. And it's doing like flips. What? Like flips. Like this little. Ninja. Yeah. Doing flips and like flip-flopping like you know how fast an aphid will like jump sure which the other day i picked up an aphid but i didn't know it was an aphid i just i was like dude look at this weird looking rock thing i knew it was a bug right but it it was like super stealth it looked like a piece of rubble that's right cool. so i picked it up it's on my finger and like the way that i thought his head was it was not it was walking either that or it was walking backwards it's on my finger. I'm like, hey, Ashley, check out this bug. And as soon as I said that, it like sprung off my finger and hit her right in the face. <laughs> it was a kring. I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> it just, okay, so you know how fast an aphid will mm. be like, yeah. that's how fast this thing was flip flopping. And I'm like, man, that's a crazy bug. But I'm driving, right? I'm going like 100, right? And mm. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't exactly just pull up my phone and just start recording right. it, right? Right. Why didn't you pull over? I don't know. Dude, you, well, you don't have another foot. Or wait, I guess you wouldn't use another foot to step on the brake. But you know <laughs> what I'm saying? You can just... I, I don't know. Street. But dude, I'm I'm looking at the dashboard and I'm looking at the road, right? I'm trying to be safe and I'm freaking out. that I, so I roll up my windows. I'm like, there's no way this bug thing is getting away this freaking bug ninja it's like doing it's literally it's like doing flips and like cartwheels and stuff and i'm like (laughs) what the heck i'm like just imagining a spider that's yeah but dude the way it was moving what did it look like it looked like uh you didn't it's not an aphid looking thing no 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 it's more like uh like longer legs right it was more legs than body like a praying mantis Okay, so that's what I thought it was at first, because do you remember when we were working on Alex's store, and remember we saw those little praying mantises yeah. on the same do- dashboard, mm-hmm. right? And I was like, dude, it's a praying mantis, what the heck? I even put them on my Instagram story and stuff. I, I That was so cool, right? And they were tiny. These were a little bit bigger than that. Now, no one else knows what the heck I'm talking about, but... Did you Google it? Did you search? Well, at this point, I'm still driving, and I'm... I'm like, I'm making sure all my windows are up. I even like, I was like, okay, I hope he doesn't go down my freaking uh, vent things, like the defrost vents. I'm like, I'm like, if I have to kill it, <laughs> I'm freaking bringing this into the lab, hmm. right? I'm like, this thing is unheard of. I've never learned about a bug that does cartwheels and flips in like one spot. That's so and strange. I'm like, Cause it's not really moving much. Right? Like, back and forth, left and right, or anything. It's mostly staying in one spot. I mean, it is a little bit, but, like, it's just doing, like, this weird acrobatics. Isn't there... (sighs) That's so strange. I just remembered. Wasn't there, like, people that grew, uh, like, insect circuses? Flea... Flea circus. Flea circus. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Dude, what if you saw a flea? What if that was a flea? Your dog chills in the vehicle... I have never seen a flea in my life, so I don't actually know what it looks like. He doesn't have fleas. Flea looks like a like a little white thing, isn't it? It's like a. I don't even know what it looks like. It looks like I, a all, the only reference I have is the Bug's Life. Right, that's a great movie. Yeah, and he, the the ringleader or whatever is a freaking flea. Wait, what? Of the circus. Oh no way! 
it. Oh, yeah, because he jumps around. He's the one that gets stuck to the tape. And he's like... <laughs> he rips off his arm or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I didn't get that reference for so long. I love how those Pixar movies are like riddled with like jokes for adults taking and, their kids, right? So they're not right, right, exactly. So they're not bored, right? And he's like the ladybug jokes and stuff. And, yeah, <laughs> and he, he's a flea, and it's a flea circus. Yeah. So did you know that flea circuses are real? We're real, right? But these fleas weren't trained to do anything. They would just notice these fleas could do certain things, right? They would flip, they would jump really high, or whatever. So what they would do, like, so when they had had the fleas, like, like, uh, uh, pull chariots and stuff, they would make literal small chariots, but they would glue the the ropes or whatever to the fleas. So really, they were like torturing these little oh, tiny bugs. No. Right, so I went to a museum where they had, like, not a real, like, it was just a, it was, like, there was no fleas in it, but it was, like, a diorama, if you will, of a, of a flea circus, and a, it was, like, a big bubble, glass bubble, uh -huh. and then there was, like, sand and stuff. It was, uh, it was kind of cool, actually. It is um, kind of cool. So, the, uh, the, uh, the, the different, like, there, like, there was, like, trapeze and stuff, but, like, there's no guarantee the the bug is actually gonna go like do any of this stuff, right? So, anyways, back to this bug on my dashboard. I'm literally so excited. I found Bigfoot and the Abominable Snowman. No one has seen this bug before, or it's highly unlikely. Did you, remember, like a few years ago, when they were looking for that frog in our area because it was going extinct. And they're like, "Yeah, have you ever seen the the whatever whatever land frog or whatever? I don't remember what it's called." It looked like just any other frog that we have around here. And I'm like, I got hundreds of those in my backyard. Dude, I was so excited. No, it's different somehow. Hmm. But anyways, that was like, oh, actually, you know what? You may have been in uh, the U.S. at this point going to school there. But there was a thing that was like in the news and stuff looking for this frog. Really? I don't recall this at all. Yeah, so you must have not been here. I thought it was so cool. Anyways. Uh, the frogs that I found were not the right ones. I didn't bring them in. I just they just showed you what to look for. What were they gonna do with them? I don't know, breed them or something just to keep them going, right? Just like kind of like how they try to do that with like other species, like turtles and stuff, right? Those mega old turtles. Mm -hmm. Like they recently found a turtle, uh, uh, in a volcano. Not in a volcano, what? but like around some volcano stuff. Dude. And 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 they were looking for it just to see if they still existed. A volcano and, and turtle. This is the one turtle they found, and uh, so turtles can keep their the, like eggs dor dormant. Is dormant the right word? I don't know. They mega old. Well, why is that funny? Teenage mutant volcano turtles. <laughs> Anyways, the, uh, the 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 turtle that they found, they're hoping that she still has eggs in her, even though she's like 150 years old or however, yeah. however old. Can't tortoises, like, live up to be a thousand? I have no idea. But at least 150 years old and still young, dude. Remember Finding Nemo? Uh-huh. I just put a Finding Nemo poster on my ceiling of my shop. That's an actual sea turtle. Yeah, it's different. So this turtle, though, anyways, they found it. And they brought it to uh, some sanctuary because it's the only one left in the world. They think. What? Remember when that old turtle Gus or whatever his name was died, like a few years ago? No. Oh man, I don't keep up with the animal current events. Well, anyways, I uh, I don't even remember what I was talking about. So let's get back to this this right. bug flipping around on my <laughs> dashboard. Okay. I'm okay, and I'm on my way to the dump right now. By the way, mm -hmm. so like I'm gonna be able to stop because from, from from my house to the dump, bless you, thank you, is not very far from here. It's actually like pretty close. It's like fifteen, not nah, not even fifteen minutes, ten minutes away, mm -hmm. let's say. And uh, so I'm driving for ten minutes, and this bug still hasn't moved. And I'm like, Phew. so I finally get to the dump, and I have to do the pay thing. But as soon as I'm done that. Because this time there was no line. And normally there's a line. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to wait. Because of the corona and stuff. 
less people or less days or whatever whatever so more people go to the right so i'm like there's gonna be a line i can check this out i can take pictures i can capture it in like a pop bottle or something like that there's no line and i'm like man i'm getting nervous because how long is this thing gonna just be doing flips in front of me mm -hmm. like i got a a scientific marvel on my hands i'm gonna lose it uh, <laughs> so i'm making sure that i'm as cool as possible rolling down the window to give the my my dump pass card to the lady at the window thing dude i would have just went <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she's like what do you have <laughs> i got i got this door to do this. she would have been like what i would have just cracked that cracked it a tiny a bit a little bit <laughs> i got a i got a scientific marvel on my hands here i can't open the window i might lose That's it exactly what i would have done dude i been like <laughs> Chill out. I got to take a picture of this real quick. Yeah, I could have done that. I didn't want to be embarrassing to myself, though. So, anyways, I tell her. I rolled that shit bed up. I could up. have won a Nobel Prize, dude. And you threw that away because you didn't want to be embarrassed? Well, then I get, I go. I go into the yard. Into the dump yard. And uh, I stop there. Right now, the, the, the thing's having construction, though. Mm -hmm. So, then this stupid bulldozer needs to go by. Frick! <laughs> Put it back in the drive. And then I drive a little bit further, but he's following me. So then I have to go all the way into the dump building. And I'm like, God damn it. So I get into the dump building. Well, now I'm there. Now there's someone who needs to get in right behind me. So now I have to dump the stuff. Oh. Right? So, uh, and this time I had drywall and, and it had been raining. Mm -hmm. So it was heavy. Mm. It was so heavy, which made it cost more too, by the way. So I'm dumping it into the, uh, the main building there. And, uh... I'm like, frick, this bug. I can't, I don't have eyes on it anymore. Is it still doing flips on my dashboard? Anyways, I come back. I, I finally dump it all. Probably took like 10 minutes, probably. Because it was so heavy. It was hard for me because these pieces were quite big. And they kept falling apart. So then I, uh, I, I finally I'm done. I go back into my car. And uh, it's not doing flips anymore. But it's still there. I'm like, okay, good. Start the truck. Immediately it starts doing flips and I'm like, what the heck? That's weird. <laughs> then I drive out of the thing so that the next person can get into the Into the building to dump their stuff and uh, I, I drive out and Then still construction, right? So where they had all the recycle and stuff all that's gone and there's this guy who's like directing Traffic sort of because there's the they're building the new building the bigger building to serve our community better mm. <laughs> and uh and there's a guy there so, so the guy in the skid steer is going to go by but i had to go by first so i couldn't even stop there i was going to stop there take a picture of this freaking thing and then go i go because he needs me to go and then while well, i'm i'm right at the basically at the to leave window so i show them my card again i roll down my window slowly show them my card and then i go out and then uh, when I get out of the dump, there's like a landing zone, if you will. And uh, I, I pull over there, just outside of the yard, or outside of the gate there. And I'm looking at this bug. He's still there. I can't believe my freaking luck. I pull over. I get out of my phone. I turn off my car. It stops doing flips. And I'm like, what the heck? That's weird. Then I start it. <laughs> Starts doing flips again. This doesn't even make any sense. I turn it off. Stop doing flips. I'm like, wait a minute. I have a closer look. You know what it was? What? A dead mosquito. No way. Oh my God. It was a mosquito. Yeah, but it was one that died from like the heat or something. Because like the way that it died, like it, it, like it, it like, you know, like when something will like sh shrivel up. Or right. whatever it was like that but it like got rigor mortis in like this weird position and the reason why it was doing flips is because uh vibration of the vibration because the you know it's kind of vibrating in that truck right mm -hmm. it's, it's got you know a little bit more horsepower than whatever right so it just it just vibrates a little bit in there right, right? especially when you step on the gas it's just like right, right? And, it, and it's doing flips and it's <laughs> doing cartwheels and and the reason why it was staying mostly in one place is because there was like like it's it's juices or something. It had like a little string of guts or something, whatever it was. Right. Some some leaching 
ooze coming out of his face or something and then stringing along on the dashboard so when you you couldn't see it because it was like basically like clear it was so thin but when i got close to it i'm like that's son of a bitch that's <laughs> that's a freaking mosquito the most common pest in all of the land uh, and i'm here like trying to be careful i'm like dude this cartwheeling freaking circus bug that's so funny i was not expecting that at all <laughs> dude i was so bummed I was like, what the heck? I was like, dude, what was it? Did you take a picture of it? That's what I was like. I'm about to yell. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> dude, I was going to take a video of it and then put it in one of my vlogs because it looked cool, but but not when I got close to it. Cartwheeling mosquito, dude. Dude, yeah. That was just... It just, di it just died from whatever, starvation or heat or whatever. Speaking of mosquitoes, there's one right here. Did you know that mosquitoes can only last three days without blood? Well, he was in there for at least three days then, or at least four days, I should say. Yeah, I figured that out. I read it online. Dude, I was bummed. I mean, you can't win them all, dude. Dude, Im imagine my excitement, right? That the I found the Loch Ness Monster. Right. Undeniable proof. No, I didn't just see some ripples in the water. I took a picture of its whatever body coming out of the water. Close up. I don't think not that grainy. Would that even? Would that even be how it would move? I don't know. Like, why isn't it? Yeah, because snakes, when they're in the water, they don't go up and down. No, they go side they to don't. side. Yeah, exactly. That's so why is the Loch Ness monster? Yeah. Well, who knows? It's a dragon, isn't it? What is it? I, I thought know. it was like a Lapras. A Lapras yeah. Pokemon. <laughs> right. Isn't that what the Loch? <laughs> yeah. Those are uh, what is Platyp it? Or, uh, not a platypus. A platypus is a right. It's like a has like a bill. It has a duck face, but like platypus, a seal body. Like freaking Perry the platypus, right? It's like a, it has that weird tail. It's like a, looks like a beaver tail. Doesn't it have some? That's a weird animal for sure. But the, you're thinking of that dinosaur thing with the long neck. Long neck has and like, like that, four fins. Has like a turtle shell on its back or whatever. Not necessarily a turtle shell, but like the shape. Like it's weird. What is that thing called? I forget. But, yeah, that's apparently what it's supposed to be, which... But, like, people... When people first saw that, they thought it was, like, a... Uh, I don't know why they thought it came out of the water like that. There's a playground just down the road for me that has a fake Loch Ness monster coming out of the sand like that. that. Yeah. <laughs> but that was really cool. I read a book when I was in middle school called Loch... And I didn't realize what it was about, but it was awesome. It was such a good book. Lock, yeah. I can't even remember if it was fiction. Well, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I think it was just like a story. Like, I don't know if it was the actual legend. I can't remember. But uh, like it was. May have been just a story. Adapted into around, like yeah. nowadays, right? Like where it was like. Oh, oh like was... someone first found it now? It wasn't like a, it wasn't like history. It was like a storytelling book, right? It was like a, yeah, fiction, right? You just had a story that involved. It was like if I just wrote a story involving the three musket, three musketeers, right? Like it, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Your voice just like <laughs> came out on you. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. like it three mus. I can't say that word. Three musketeers are already made up thing, right? Right. So if I was to just adopt those characters and put them into my own story, I think that's what the story was. But it was really good. Right, and you could add, like, Wolverine into there. Right, exactly. That's exactly what I would do. Wolverine and maybe, like, I don't know. You know what's bothering me? Hmm. That Hugh Jackman won't be Wolverine anymore. Yeah, me too. If anyone else, it'll have to be years before I accept another Wolverine. I know. You, you know how many Spider Mans came out? And you're just like, yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no one cares. My favorite, though, is the first, like, Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire, yeah. For yeah. some reason, he's, like, the perfect amount of, like, nerd and, like. He no. acts it so good because he is. He, he's not, like, because he's, like, the way that they do the movies, he's, like, he looks like he's like, what is happening? All right, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, the Andrew Garfield one, he's, like, immediately into this is awesome. Mm -hmm. He's not, like... I mean, he is confused a little bit, but, like, he puts it together so quickly. He's like, oh, right, when I was in the lab, that weird nano spider bit me. Right, on the neck. Right, it's not, it's not the same. 
No, I think also origin stories aren't as good. No. And then I actually haven't seen the newest one with the other guy. Uh, Who was it like a professional? Tom Holland. Yeah, Tom Holland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like a professional like Acro- gymnast or something. Yeah, he did his own. That's so cool. Flips and shit. Like uh, there was that part where he did that like backflip over his bed. Uh, he was connected to. He was rigged up, but like he actually he actually did that shit. It wasn't CGI or anything. Uh, I don't. I haven't cool. seen the movie either, but I saw. I saw the. <laughs> You saw the... You saw the special features or something, because my, my roommate has it, right? Oh, okay. And he loves, like... Any Marvel, superhero movie, Yeah, exactly, right? pretty much. Well, mostly Marvel stuff. He, but, but he also uh, likes Batman, right? Right, but that's cool shit, right? Like, he's got the cool... Not, none of this, like... Uh, the Flash and stuff? <laughs> the fl- I like... Actually, you know what? The TV show? The TV show is great. Uh, the Flash TV show is super well done. It's great... Um, it goes along with like Superwoman and Arrow. And, I liked Arrow, right? But I Arrow did, was good. Arrow I only was liked good Arrow until they brought in other superheroes because I didn't know he was a superhero at first. I thought I thought it was just a show. But then I'm like, this is kind of superhero-y because like, what's up with these villains with these right. like half masks? I first saw Arrow when I lived in Chicago, and I was like, damn, this is good. I didn't know that it was a superhero. Uh, I knew he was a superhero. I just didn't realize. He was the like a MC, comic. The, the, sorry, that's DC, right? Isn't yeah, it? DC, yeah. Uh, I didn't realize like that it was part of a bigger story. I thought it was just, you know, like uh, the show Hercules. Remember back in the yeah, day? Yeah, I thought it was just... Actually, you know what? They did do a crossover with uh, Xena or whatever. Yeah. yeah which was Xena. awesome. Xena. Yeah. Xena Warrior Princess. Oh, my gosh. I loved her. <laughs> I thought she was so hot. I'm like six years old. Like, yeah. <laughs> Kick some ass. <laughs> that's funny. But I actually really liked that show, Hercules, too. I was like, yeah, look at him beating up people with, like, one punch. Well, bam. Yeah, terrible, terrible, terrible choreography. Yeah. Terrible, but it was so good. It was so bad that it was good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyways, moral of the story. I was super bummed that this bug wasn't real. I didn't find the eighth wonder of the world. Right. How bummed? Bummed, dude. I felt stupid. Stupid. I, at least there was no one in the vehicle. Freaking was... mosquito. <laughs> a mosquito. Mosquito. I don't know what to tell you, dude. I, I wish that you would have found. Dude, this was the coolest bug. It was flipping cartwheels. And it was like putting on a show for me because it didn't leave. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that's because it was dead. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys. That's so funny. If you want to know what we're up to, check out our individual social medias and YouTube channels. All that will be linked in the description if you want to check that out. There's plenty coming out at certain times and other times just nothing. (laughs) But please go check that out. Uh, Yeah, thank you, guys. Uh, Please remember that there's still the contest. Uh, And... uh... We need to post that freaking. <laughs> yeah, I've, we forgot to post the, uh, the 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 contest. Right. We'll make sure that it's posted this week though, so you guys can check that out, see what the rules are and stuff. We already got like ten. Right. There will be like that. there will be an email address that you will know to specifically. Right. Because I got some emails, you got some emails, and right. then that our actual just joshing with Dakota at gmail dot com got some emails. Right. So. so yeah, direct them all to that one. Mm-hmm. All this stuff will be in the next post. Sorry, we're just, we're not used to this channel so much. We're mostly, well, life and our own channels. Mm -hmm. But anyways, thanks for watching. Thank you for hanging out. We'll see you next time. Did you see that I got mom's other dog? Yeah, I did. Actually, you know what? That's, uh, That's the first time I actually ever saw it. Yeah, she asked me to babysit it for a bit.